Hello, this is a video on how to play Fight the Landlord. Uh, now, Fight the Landlord is a Chinese card game. It's very popular in China. Uh, you'll need a 50 54 card deck. Um, this is your standard 52 card deck plus your two jokers. Um, it can only be played with three players and that's non-negotiable. So if you have a different number of players, you will have to play a different card game. Um, there is an image on the side highlighting the card combinations and the card ranks, and so we won't get into that. Uh, but just dealing cards, um, each player is dealt 17 cards, one card at a time. The remaining three cards are placed into the middle, um, and each player bids uh, either 0, 1, 2, or 3. If you bid 0, you pass, um, and the player with the highest bid, you bid in a circle. The player with the highest bid becomes the landlord. And so, so far, it's simple. Um, the objective of the game is to be the first player to play all your cards in the middle. Um, cards can be played into the middle in combinations. Once a combination is laid down, only a similar combination with a higher ranking can be played. Um, and so the landlord plays alone against the other two players. Um, and so it's basically a one versus two. Uh, the person who wins the bid, aka the landlord, also gets the three additional cards um, in the middle. Um, and so we're not going to bid, and so we'll just pass here. Um, and so. Bob actually um, won the uh, bid, and so Bob played the first card. And so the bid winner is the first player to lay down a combination. And looking on the image on the side, this is a single card combination. Uh, once a combination is laid down, only uh, 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 the next player, only a similar combination with a higher rank can be played. And so um, a similar combination could be would be have would have to be a single card, right? since a single card was played here and only a single card with a higher ranking could be then be played because you we have to have the same combination a single card and then we have to have a higher ranking so that would be a higher card rank um, and so since this is a red joker um, it's the highest card rank and so i am forced to pass and oscar is also forced to pass here and so that is what will happen and so what do we know so far 17 cards to each player uh, the players bid on being who uh, on who is the landlord, and the objective is to play all your cards in the middle through combinations. Um, once a combination is played, only a similar combination of a higher rank can be played. And that's literally those four points. That is how to play Fight the Landlord. And so we'll, we will just go through a bit more. It's quite a simple game. Um, if a player cannot beat the previously played combination, uh, the player must pass on playing. Um, even if you can beat the combination, you can also still pass on playing if you just don't feel like beating the combination and you don't feel like winning uh, or uh, or pass or like getting rid of those cards, right? You want to save those cards, then that is also fine. Um, after two consecutive passes, the cards are cleared and the player of the last combination will start the new combination. So since uh, Oscar passed and then I passed, um, Bob cleared his single joker and now he started a new combination. Now this is a pair. Once again, uh, you have to match the previous combination. So a pair of 2-2. Uh, two, two. Now twos are quite a high ranking card and the only way we, you can beat them is by playing a higher ranking pair. Looking on the image on the right, the higher ranking pair would be a joker that is black or a joker that is red. Note that in the image on the right, um, ranks are go from lowest to highest from the top to the bottom. So the lowest ranks are at the top and the highest ranks are at the bottom for both combinations and for uh, card ranks. Um, note that a bomb and rocket are special and that they can play, be played at any time. And so like I said before uh, about the rule of playing a similar combination, uh, that is true unless you have a bomb or a joker, which can be played at any time. Other than that, you must follow the combination. Since Bob played a pair here, two, two. The only uh, possible cards I can play are pairs, right? And so I could play three, three. However, I cannot uh, because like I said, um, you have to be higher ranking and twos are the third highest ranked card behind the black and red jokers Since I don't ha can't since I don't have a black or red joker pair um, I must pass and so once we once two consecutive passes you clear the cards in the middle the player who um, Played the last combination starts the new combination uh, the player that gets rid of their cards first wins the round um, And so that's basically the objective of how to play fight the landlord 17 cards to each player um, it's a 2v1 against the landlord. Um, the objective is to get rid of your cards first uh, by playing combinations. And But once a combination is played, you must play a similar combination of a higher rank. That's the simple essence. Um, 
Note that uh, there are combinations called sequences on the side. Uh, the twos or the jokers cannot be included in any of those sequences. Um, and a player that passes on one turn can still play on a combination if play returns to him or her. Note that uh, the current set of cards keeps going, right? Even if one player passes. You, you need both players to pass in a row, two consecutive passes, in order to clear the cards in the middle. So if one player passes, and then the other two players play, and it goes back to that one player. So if I pass, or if I pass, and then Oscar and Bob play a card in the middle, it goes back to me. Even though I passed previously, I can now play a card into the middle. Um, also note that I've highlighted this many times, but only the same type of combinations can be played against each other. Uh, so for example, a sequence of 6 cannot be played on against a sequence of 5. Um, and so now that's just how you play, right? You just want to get rid of all your cards. And so he played an ace. The only thing that B-side is, is a 2, and so I'm going to play a 2. And so now, since I played the last combination card, it's my turn to start the next combination. So I'm going to play double... I'm going to play four singular. He plays a two. Um, I'll also have to pass because I cannot beat that. So he plays an ace. Um, I, can, I have to play a higher ranking card. I do not have a single higher ranking card. So now he played a pair. I must play a higher ranking pair. Um, I want to keep these four a three of a kind, and so I'm just gonna, going to. Um, actually, I can play my two aces here. So both players pass. We clear the cards in the middle. Now it's my turn. I'm going to play my double threes. He played double kings, um, and so I have to pass since I cannot beat that. So now Bob plays. He played a king singular card. I do not have have a higher ranking card, and so I must pass. He played a nine. I have a 10, that's higher ranking. Now he plays a queen. Um, I must pass since I cannot beat that queen. Oscar plays a 10. Um, I will pl I will also pass, letting Oscar win the combination. Remember, we Bob is the landlord right here, and it's a 2v1 against Bob. And so if I know Oscar um, has, if Bob passes, it's in my best interest to pass to let Oscar keep playing. Because once the player gets rid of all their cards, the round is over. And so I want to help Oscar out by helping him get rid of as many cards as he can. Bob passes again. I'm going to pass. He plays a double seven. I'm also going to pass. He plays a double nine. I'm also going to pass. He plays a singular three. Um, I'm going to pass and we'll let Bob play. Um, um, and so Oscar plays a king. I have to pass. Oscar plays a six. Bob plays an eight. Um, I'll pass. And so, and so, why did it say that uh, me and Oscar won? Um, that is because it said I won, right? Even though Oscar got rid of all his cards. This is because it was a 2v1. So if I, either of us win, then um, the other players don't win. Um, and then so you can just score points based off of that. Um, and so... Uh, if the landlord wins, the landlord scores the bid amount uh, plus any multipliers from each opponent. If the landlord loses, the opponents each score the bid amount plus any multipliers. Um, and so the bid was probably three. Bob, in this case, we can't really even bid. You're you are forced to bid three. It doesn't really give you a choice, uh, but it, it's just the program. Uh, but in an actual game, you could bid one zero one two or three, and so that's how it, it would work. Uh, the landlord scores the bid amount plus any multipliers from each opponent if they win. Um, if they lose, the opponents score the bid amount plus any multipliers, and so me and Oscar both scored three. Um, both opponents score when the landlord loses. It doesn't matter which opponent, which player got rid of their cards first. If the landlord loses, both players score. Um, the bid is multiplied by two every time a bomb or rocket is played during the round. And so if the bid was two and one bomb and one rocket was played during the round, the round is worth two times two times two points or eight points. Um, the original bid of two is doubled to four after the bomb is played and doubled again to eight when the rocket is played. Um, note that last round no bomb or rocket was played and so the original bid of three uh, stayed like so. And so we'll just quickly play um, another round here. Um, I cannot beat, I can beat that with a double ace. 
Actually, I cannot because twos be aces. And so I cannot beat this, and so I must pass. Uh, but overall, I hope you can understand just how to play the game. It's quite simple. Um, he played a singular two. I cannot beat that, and so I must pass. He played double aces. I cannot beat that, and I must pass. He played double threes. I can beat that. I'll play double sixes. Oscar will play double eights. He'll play double jacks. And I'll play double aces. And so now it's my turn to play. I'm going to play a singular four. Play a two. I'll pass. Um, he plays a double four, double five. I'll play double seven. Higher ranking in the same combination. The only way we could beat this is with a double king or higher. And we don't have that, so we must pass. Uh, note that we can beat this. But even then, we can choose to pass if we want to. In this case, I will play a card in an attempt to beat this. Um, I'll play a singular 9 here. Play a queen, I'll play a singular king here. Um, and so now it's my turn. I'll play an 8. Um, it's in my best interest to pass. Let Oscar play his cards. Um, in this case it seems... In this case it seems Bob won. And so... Um, he received a score of 6, uh, that means he probably at some point um, played a bomb or a rocket, right? A double joker or a bomb. And so that wraps up how to play Fight the Landlord. It's quite a simple game, um, and I hope you learned. It's very, very easy, um, and just refer to a score sheet uh, so you know all of the combinations. Uh, most of the higher combinations aren't really used. Um, like, honestly, they just aren't used. Uh, because it's quite rare that you'll get a hand that satisfies those higher sequences. Um, note that whenever a combination is played, you must play com the same combination of a higher rank if you can. That's the only way you can make a play. And so if a four of a kind plus two cards was played, right? Like six, 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 uh, uh, six, 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 six. Um, dash 10 dash Q, uh, then you would have to play 7 7 7 7 3 4 or something like that, right? That's higher ranking, that's a higher ranking four of a kind, and so that's how you beat them. Once again, just understand that if a combination is played, you must play the same combination in a higher rank, and so you're you are not going to see most of these combinations in game. Um, remember that the cards are ranked from uh, three being the lowest and joker red being the highest uh note that a bomb and a rocket are the only exceptions to the same combination rule they can be played whenever and you don't have to wait for the same combination you can play a bomb or a rocket whenever um and obviously once a bomb or a rocket is played if a bomb is played the only way you can make a play in the middle is to play a rocket if a rocket is played you cannot make any play in the middle and both players must pass uh, and so that wraps up how to play uh, Fight the Landlord, and uh, thank you.